Hi, ACE family. This is Mrs. Vincent, and I'm going to tell you how to do distance learning at ACE. The first thing you need to do is sign into your school Gmail account. That's your student number at ycschools.us. If you have forgotten your password, then you should email or text Mrs. Dolan and find out what your password is. Once you're signed into your student Google account, I just happened to sign in through Gmail here, go to your waffle menu and go to Google Classrooms. You'll find several Google Classrooms here. You'll find a grade level homeroom plus individual Google Classrooms for each of your assigned classes. Ninth graders will have biology, geometry, U.S. history, English 9, health, and something else. I don't remember what else. But students in other classes will have other, or excuse me, students in other years will have other classes. And you should consult PowerSchool to see which classes that you're registered in. Not everybody is registered in every single class. Visit your ninth grade, or excuse me, visit your grade level homeroom. And then click on the first assignment here to get your planner page for the week. It's called an assignment because that's we have to put it somewhere. But this is not something you have to turn in. This is just to help you organize yourself. This is a sample page. When you get your real page, it will have the links to all of your Google Classrooms, as well as a list of what you need to turn in by the end of the week. It will also have links to all of your live meeting times. Down below that, you'll find the schedule organized a different way. These, again, are links to the Google Class meetings and it's just organized by day. All of your classes will start at 11 or 1 or 2. Our school circle is at 11 on Fridays. So once you've got your planner page, just go to whatever class meetings are coming up, visit those Google Classrooms to do your work, and make sure that you communicate with every teacher every day. It's imperative this year. If you go to a Google Class meeting, then that counts as communication. And if you haven't attended a class meeting on that day, then make sure you email, text, or call the other teachers to make sure that you have communicated with every single teacher every single day. See you next week. Can't wait. Bye.